Today, we celebrate 20 years of proton therapy at Loma Linda University Medical Center. It is a rich history that began over 40 years ago with the arrival of Dr. James Slater to Loma Linda. It was his pioneering research that led to the opening of the first hospital-based proton treatment center in 1990. The first patient was treated for melanoma of the eye. And the following year, for the first time in history, a gantry was used to deliver a proton beam to a patient being treated for prostate cancer. It is hard to believe that this innovative new treatment that has now treated over 14,000 patients at Loma Linda began with a simple board meeting. No one knows this better than Warren Johns, a longtime advisor of Loma Linda University Medical Center and the 500th prostate cancer patient treated at the Proton Treatment Center. One of the paradox of my choice of going to Loma Linda proton beam treatment was that three or four years earlier, I had been the guest of the board because I was general counsel to the World Organization of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. I was invited to sit as a guest when the concept of the proton beam was being presented. I listened to the presentation and I was really impressed by the technology. I was impressed by Dr. James Slater being a pioneer going out in front on the cutting edge of medical technology to conceive of the idea. But when it came time to voting, if I had had a vote, I doubt that I would have voted for it and because of the incredible cost. When I became a patient potential, I decided at that time it certainly was worth the risk because then I was looking at it from the standpoint of a patient, not as a legal advisor. I was so grateful that that option was available to me. As I recall, the vote to let's go with it was 100%. I went around the country, figuratively speaking, checking out all my options. I would have gone anywhere in the country that I thought had the best option. I made the decision, objectively, that Loma Linda had the best option for me. My grandfather died of prostate cancer in his mid-70s. I think he would have lived longer, just like I have lived longer, if he had had access to the proton beam. The advancement of proton therapy at Loma Linda continued as more and more patients were successfully treated. But it also continued because of the support of those that believed in the vision long before the first patient arrived. People like Congressman Jerry Lewis, who has been a supporter and friend to Dr. James Slater for many years. And Ken Venturi, whose Proton Charity Golf Invitational has raised over $3 million for proton therapy research. The support of these individuals and many others has made it possible to prove the healing power of protons. One man who experienced this healing power is a man who was already known as an inspiration in his church, Pastor D. L. McFall. Diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2004, Pastor McFall was painfully aware of the statistics. African American men are nearly twice as likely to develop prostate cancer as white men and have also been shown to be more likely to suffer from the side effects of treatment. The possibility of fewer side effects leads many men like Pastor McFall to choose proton treatment over other options. I was diagnosed with prostate cancer six years ago. On the day that my urologist gave me the diagnosis, uh, it was very surreal. I couldn't believe that I had cancer, even though I was, at that time, Coming on 55 years of age, I never dreamed that prostate cancer or any other cancer would be a challenge for me. After doing some more research, I began to understand that proton therapy would be ideal for me and it would enable me to continue with a very active and, and full life. In April of 2004, I made the call to the Proton Treatment Center here at Loma Linda, made an appointment, my wife and I flew out, met with them, and they accepted me as a candidate. From that first encounter through the staff, the receptionists, the technicians, the doctors and nurses, 
They went out of their way to, to make me feel as if I was someone special and that I could relax and know that I was in good hands. The work they're able to do with prostate patients, I think, has helped to prepare them for stretching out and getting to treat other forms of cancer. There is hope after prostate cancer is diagnosed and a major part of that hope is Loma Linda's Proton Treatment Center. In 2007, the facility was renamed the James M. Slater, MD, Proton Treatment and Research Center. And the following year, work began on the new Precision Patient Alignment System. This new computerized system was designed to improve precision and decrease patient treatment time. The researchers and physicians at Loma Linda are always looking for ways to improve upon the proton technology, including the ability to treat other forms of cancer. A clinical trial for the treatment of breast cancer with protons has just been completed. One of the participants is Anne Hughes, now an advocate of clinical trials and proton therapy. She was one of the first patients at Loma Linda to be treated for breast cancer with proton therapy. I had gone in for um, a biopsy due to suspicious findings. So then the phone call comes. It's a tumor, so I was stunned. I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't want to go into any details about it. You don't know any details about it. You just know you've heard the word. A hairdressing salon is a wonderful place to network. A client of a colleague that worked next to me happened to work for Loma Linda Medical Center. She had overheard me talking about having surgery and so she suggested checking into Proton. So I met with Dr. Bush who was the proton doctor that was doing the clinical trial. He explained in great depth what the proton treatment is like. At that point, I knew that it was an option that I certainly wanted to have and a service that I wanted in place of chemo or in place of traditional radiation if I was in fact a candidate for it. And as it turned out, I was. When I explained this to my family, my husband and my children were really happy that I was going to be having that treatment as opposed to chemotherapy or traditional radiation. I can only imagine what some of my friends have gone through. I didn't have to lose my hair. When you think in terms of just being tired after a proton treatment, that's not a very big price to pay to be a part of this study and to have the hope of seeing the growth of this proton service. It's very exciting. You can't speak with a person from that department that is not just thrilled with what they're doing and what they're finding. You know, cancer is a real scary word, but the neat thing about it, and especially with all the things that are available today, it doesn't have to mean a death threat. A look at the history of proton therapy at Loma Linda shows that it is a technology that continues to evolve. It's past the cutting edge. It's past the first flight test. But I think it's going to keep going, and it's going to be more and more profound as time goes on. The future of proton therapy is sure to lead to further innovations such as scanning beam technology and expansion of treatment to other forms of cancer. It is also sure to lead to the healing of many more patients. Patients like those of you here today. Today, we celebrate the history of proton therapy at Loma Linda and the legacy built by each and every one of you.